Guru Nation, how's it going? Really quick video I wanted to do. Actually, I'm just getting my saliva kit for my COVID test because I've potentially been exposed and I want to make sure that I'm not a spreader. So I've been quarantining right now. So you're going to be seeing a lot more videos of me from the house uh, over the next week or so until I get my result. I should actually get my result in a few days. So I'll share that with you guys here. Positive or negative. I'll let you know, but that's not the point of this video. This video I wanted to do because I've been looking on um, YouTube. Uh, obviously, I'm always looking for clinical research stuff, like what topics are people interested in. So one of the things I do is I go on YouTube and I just search clinical research, and then I let the search bar like auto-populate because those are what people are searching for. One of the things I'm seeing is clinical research associate training. And let me go on the record here and this actually coincides really well with the Instagram direct message I got today, which I'll read. But let me go on the out on the limb here and say, or not on the limb, let, let me go out on record and say that as somebody who owns a CRA Academy, it is uh, very unlikely, I even tell the students this, it is very unlikely that taking any course, mine included, that your first job is going to be CRA. That's just not the way it works. The reason we call it the CRA Academy is because that's the ultimate aspiration. And that's usually just one job away from the job that you're gonna get. So a lot of my graduates have been getting remote site monitor, in-house CRA, trial master file, even clinical research coordinator. Those are one step up to CRA, all right? So that's like, you're just one job removed from being a CRA. Now, is training worth it? Obviously, I'm biased. Obviously, I'm gonna say my training is worth it. I wouldn't do my training if it wasn't for the fact that I believe that it's worth it. But, let me read just the DM I got today. Uh, I would not be ready for this job without the CRA Academy. I would not be familiar with any of this terminology. I know others say it's not worth taking courses to get into research but I believe those without experience definitely need it. Uh, not just blowing smoke up your butt, your course really gave me a solid foundation. So I actually agree with this person and I agree with the advice that this person is getting about usually it's not worth paying to get into clinical research uh, until it is. So here's the thing, all right? You're either gonna go out and start interning because you can go intern you can go get research experience right now on your resume. You're just gonna have to talk to about 100 clinics in your area, maybe 30, maybe 100's an exaggeration. Let's say 10 to 30 in your area. Tell them what you're good at. Maybe it's running social media, maybe it's running Facebook ads, maybe it's recruiting patients, maybe it's recruiting doctors, maybe it's drawing blood. I don't know, maybe it's like going, uh, processing the lab samples, whatever your background is, making websites, I don't know, answering phones. The point is, you can reach out to 10, 20, 30 of these clinics in your area. A couple of them might give you the opportunity to intern there for free for a few months, maybe two or three months. And then if they like you, they're gonna hire you as a research assistant, maybe even as a study coordinator, or they won't. But even if they don't, now you have research experience on your resume, right? It just, it took a lot of work and you've gotta learn the process, you know, from the ground up. With my course, or with other people's course, there are other good courses out there. Um, we're the only ones where we are actually a site network and a CRO first before we are an academy, meaning our priorities are actually on the site network, the sites that we manage, and on the CRO, where we're actually doing studies for sponsors. So we have our interns work on a real life studies right now it's a breast cancer study soon to be two COVID studies that the interns are working on as real monitors remote site monitors I'm trying to interview as many of our graduates as possible to show you guys uh, so that right away off the bat after three months of learning the fundamentals that right off the bat okay you get experience on your CV as soon as you send me your first monitoring report me and Jeslyn and Monica, sometimes we look over the interns monitoring reports, intern monitoring visit reports for the breast cancer study. We provide you feedback and then you do more reports, but 
when you send me your first report during the internship, I do your CV, then you go get hired. Point of all this is it's a process. No matter what you do, no matter whether you pay for it or no matter whether you go work your ass off in intern places and get internship opportunities, you're working. You're putting in work. The only question is, are you putting in sweat equity into the process of finding the opportunity to just work for free? Or are you paying for a structured three-month course with a proven, at least in my case, a proven track record and real-life experience that you don't have to work for? You just automatically, you pass the class, you get assigned to the work, right? Uh, now, you have to do the work once you're in because I won't do your resume until you do your first monitoring report but the point of all that is to get you working to get you thinking about all the concepts that you've learned it takes about three months in my opinion i don't think you can learn this stuff sooner than that i know there's courses out there that say they can do it in a few weeks i mean maybe you can learn the very basics in a few weeks but i think it takes three months to really get a good grasp at minimum three months to get a good grasp of the fundamentals and then get on the bike with the training wheels right and learn how to ride a bike with the training wheels where it doesn't matter if you fall you're not gonna fall because it's our internship even though it's real studies you're working on real studies you're doing real monitoring reports you're struggling ask our students you're gonna be struggling just like a real monitor is struggling when they're going through the source documentation and trying to do source data review making sure it's complying with the protocol so that's my thoughts on CRA training is yes you can learn all this stuff for free no matter which option you take you're going to be working it's just a matter of shortening that time frame in taking a course or not i really hope you consider taking my course or maybe you find a course that's better that's not one of mine or maybe you go the free route and you just hustle and work your way into an opportunity where you can intern for free somewhere so those are the options guys and uh, I just wanted to make a video on that because I haven't done a video on CRA training, even though I have been having the CRA Academy for five years now, five years. I'm really proud of all of our alumni, all of our students who have gotten jobs. And uh, I love to interview more of you guys. If you're an alumni of CRA Academy and I haven't interviewed you, hit me up because I really want to interview you and I look to be interviewing more of you guys. So anyways, going to let you know how my saliva test goes. Um, but more videos for me coming up for sure. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.